welcome to another gloomy Southern California day. So there's been a lot of interest in this crazy looking thing on top of my head. Some of you are just curious about it and there's others out there that want to make their own. itself is the speed and strength SS 2500 and I looked at a lot of different helmets and I like this one best because I was going for that fighter pilot look and um, it was only $200 it's a fiberglass helmet and you know it's got the DOT ECE and like a removable washable liner the stars on the front are just stickers that I had made, gloss black on flat black, and this, the screws on the on the shield are just these little plastic trinket screws I found at uh, Pet Boys Auto Supply, and I just used 3M double-sided tape and stuck them on the shield. The number six emblem on the forehead, I also found that at Pet Boys, like in their accessory aisle. It's just like a little five dollar plastic part that I stuck on. Two air filters on the jaw. Yet again, found those at Pet Boys for ten dollars each. They're actually real air filters. I don't know what they're used for. They're obviously not air intake, but uh, perfect size. They also come in blue and black. I didn't drill the chin bar of my helmet to make these filters actually function because you know that might weaken the structural integrity of the helmet so just for looks probably the hardest part of the helmet was these lights that are on here it's actually cut from these toy spy goggles that you can buy and I just took a Dremel tool and cut away what I didn't want and took the uh, double-sided 3M tape and stuck them on the helmet so for more of a high-tech look, I covered the wires from the uh, spy goggle lights with this stuff called uh, flex wire conduit. Half inch diameter and it's pre-slit down the entire length so you just cut it to length and slip it over the wire. It's that quick and easy. Stuff's super cheap. It's only like $3.50 for a four foot length and you can get it at... I bought mine from Pet Boys but they also have it at Home Depot. This crazy looking wing off the top of the helmet. It's basically, it's just the visor that the helmet came with. I had to chop it up a little bit to modify it to fit backwards. It actually functions. It actually stabilizes the helmet at higher speeds. I just did it for looks, but um, it functions as good as it looks. The tail light across the back. It's actually a remote controlled light. When I hit my brakes, it lights up. When I turn on my blinkers, there's yellow lights on each side that blink. Um, there's basically a little remote control that you wire into your bike. If you don't want to wire it up, you can also just turn the light on and it'll just blink like every two seconds. A lot of people are curious about the camera on the side of my helmet. They're like, well, why do you have that camera on the side of your helmet if you got a GoPro on your chin? I just use the Contour Roam 3 for specific shots. If I want to get a quick shot while I'm riding, it's super easy to turn on. You just slide the bar on top and it starts recording. Uh, but what I like to do most is I remove the camera from the helmet and I put it on this little teeny flex tripod. And I'll do like third party shots, which you've probably seen in some of my videos. It just adds a new, uh, an extra dynamic to the video. I'm going to actually do a video just on the Contour Roam 3 camera because I think it's a great addition for anybody that's a rider, whether they're a motovlogger or they just ride. I don't want to get into the nuts and bolts of it right now, but um, that video is coming up real soon. All right, boys and girls. Well, that about covers every aspect of the helmet. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below. 
Uh, I've also got a direct email which may render better results and get in contact with me. Uh, I realize this wasn't a super in-depth tutorial on the helmet. I'd have to build a whole other helmet to do that and show you guys, which I may do one day. I may give this one away or put it on a shelf as a memento. But uh, that's it, guys. Ride safe.